All right, dig it. I'm gonna take you on a little tour, starting here from uh, more or less where my boat is, through the, uh, what I assume to be lesser touristy part of Bergen, uh, Bergen, of Bergen here, um, heading up to the city center where it is touristy, where all the, most of the hotels and all the restaurants and all that junk is. So, uh, yeah, this looks like more of a part of where a good majority of the Bergen people live because the center obviously is aimed for, you know, aimed at tourists. So, not really much it's in the way of li living accommodations go. I can't talk today, so just, just overlook that. I'm having a hard time speaking for some reason. Anyways, I'm uh, going to Wolfskotte, which is basically uh, Wolf, Wolf Street. Yeah, it's a cool name, I know. Here we go. Wolfskotte. And uh, I'm going to cruise up. Try and probably cruise through this little park and give you guys a glimpse of that. All right. Wolf. Got the. And no, it's not gate when you're here in Norway. It's got the. All right. Coming around the corner here, heading up this way. You see uh, Hjulen backstage. I have no idea what that is. Maybe it's some kind of club on Olaf Hjus Bayer, which is, uh, yeah, man, it looks like some sort of club or something. Cool. I don't know. Another little uh, neighborhood here. Well, I guess it's still the same neighborhood, just different part. Up there's a, it's a pretty big park here in town. It's a trip, man. These walls and everything. I don't know, something about this place reminds me a little bit of uh, Hamtramck. When I was a kid, I'd go visit my relatives. My, uh, my grandma lived in Michigan. Actually has a lot of cool stuff like this with rocks and whatnot and then a lot of green plants and stuff everywhere. So yeah, that is some sort of club. Look at that underneath the park. That is cool. Yeah, man, it's kind of like Pennsylvania and, and you know, Washington and Oregon and Michigan. Kind of all those places blended together. A little bit of Frisco, man, with the hills. Seattle. Pretty much a lot of places in the States that I like. Mainly due to the weather and because of the scenery. There's a lot of green around I guess as it turns out, I really appreciate green. And check that out, that's a nice, funny joke. Somebody pulled, cool. Anyway, heading up uphill to the city center again. All right, cruising through this little area. It's a park over there, some museums around. I was at this museum last time. It's kind of like a history, natural history. A little bit cooler than the one we have in San Diego, actually, because it's bigger. Just like all the museums that I've uh, been to in Europe. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, Balboa Park is cool. It's nice. It's one of my favorite places to walk around in San Diego. But uh, truth of it is, those are some tiny ass museums. And uh, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is take you around over here, a little detour and go check this church out that sits uh, on top of this hill here in the uh, center of Bergen. Just about the center. Here we go. Be there. Oh, can't go there. As I was saying, it sort of reminds me of Frisco and or Seattle. There you go. Got a little bit of hill action. Nice old places on the hill. Down in there is the center of Bergen. Like I said, I'm gonna show you this church and stuff. Not that the church. 
here. It's just the coolest thing ever. Not that I'm religious and especially not that I'm all about uh, Christianity. But I have to say churches are some of the nicest buildings around in Europe. They are really ornate and I appreciate that. Definitely appreciate the architecture of the Christian and Catholic monoliths of God. And here's the one here in Bergen, one of them. This one's probably newer. I know there's this older, crazy old one somewhere. If I can get to it today, well, it's still alive. churches. Anyway, there you have it. Some super church on top of this hill. And uh, now I'm about to go down into the actual center of Bergen. Here we go.